All right. Look, as you know, yesterday I asked, I did a shout out. I said, if you're a serving police officer associated with the police, could you give us more details of the so-called hate hub that, according to some, has been formed where police take complaints of people being hateful and offending other people, and even though that's not a crime, they will they will write down the complaints and put them in some sort of database, which to me is incredibly concerning. And I'm incredibly concerned that the Minister of Police and the Minister of Justice um, and the Police Commissioner haven't come, in, come out and said this is not so. Um, but I, so I asked people inside the police who were involved in this project who knew about it to contact me. And I'm going to be honest, we did not have one verifiable... I had a number of people contact me, but I operate to a certain standard of proof as a journalist, and none of the information I got satisfied my standard of proof. So are these claims even real? Well, they're being made by the Free Speech Union... Um, who I regard as a pretty reliable organisation. So what evidence do we have that there is a hate hub in the New Zealand police and they are methodically gathering data about people being nasty to other people and putting it on a register? We're joined now by the legal spokesperson for the Free Speech Union, Hannah Clough. Hannah, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Good morning, Sean. All right, what are you basing these claims on? Look, these claims are based on information that we received, like you said, from people inside the police. We're actually still in the information gathering stage. We have uh, asked the police for more information, specifically the full training material, um, as well as uh, background to how the training material was developed. Uh, and we're still waiting on that. But we have enough information at this stage and have actually reached out to the commissioner and he hasn't denied anything that we've said. Yeah. He's open to talking to us and we're meeting with him tomorrow. And tomorrow. we kind of have an indication tomorrow, yes. Tomorrow, we, uh, Jonathan and I, our chief executive, we're meeting with him tomorrow to have a chat. And really... At and the end you, of the would, day, you would, of course, share all of that chat with the public? That's the intention. I mean, we're very open and transparent about this. I, I my job in the uh, in the organisation is to provide the organisation with legal advice, specifically the strength of its legal cases. And here at the moment, based on the information we have to hand, I think we have a strong case against the police. Okay, but but it's not proven yet. It's I mean, proven. Not yet. We're going, to, we're going to have a chat and we need more information. That's really where we're at. We need more information. But based on what we've got at the moment, it's very concerning. Okay. And I would agree there's prima facie indication that there is some instruction or direction about people saying hateful things, which seems a bit odd. What about the Definitely. idea of the hate yeah. hub and where did the name hate hub come from? We're not sure where that came from, but this actually isn't new. If you actually dig into this, the further we've dug into this, it's more and more concerning. And this has actually already happened in the UK. And it's actually... Yeah, no, but Hannah, and Hannah, let's, let's yeah. just talk about what's happening in New Zealand. That's where we live and that's where our police commissioner and our politicians have sway. What's happened in New Zealand as regards the hate hub? What do we know factually? So far, we know that the police are trained to identify hate speech which they've given examples in the training, which we have received screenshots of. And that's, that's our key yeah. evidence is the screenshots we received of that training. And that training has cartoon pictures of protesters holding up signs that say, uh, uh, there are only two genders, free speech, uh, and a, a feminist symbol. I mean, that's, that's what they consider hate speech and that's what the police are trained. Okay, that's what the training shows speech. in the cartoon representations. Yes, okay. the training. All right, that's, okay. That's of, that's of great concern to us. But really, it's fundamentally... But it's hang on, hang on. What about the hate like, hub? What's the evidence for the hate hub? For this register of people who might have done hateful things that aren't crimes because the impression I think y y y online has that, been or that you have created is that there's some special secret police registry of bad people who engage in wrong think. Yes, the police commissioner has confirmed with us that all this has come from, he hasn't explicitly said the hate hub, but the recording of in these incidents has come from recommendation 42 
of the Royal Commission's report into the Christchurch Mos- Mos- attack. Okay, so he has confirmed Correct. the existence of a database that records he, he complaints of so-called hate crime. He has indicated, even though he hasn't explicitly said it, but he has indicated... Uh, uh, look, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to nail this down as a gen... So has he indicated or confirmed? He hasn't explicitly confirmed, and that's what we're going to confirm in the meeting tomorrow with okay. him. Okay, because I think from, those things are important and confirmation or otherwise is important.